everybody and welcome. In today's video we're going to take a look at the brand new paper pumpkin kit that is available to all Stampin' Out markets outside of the US as of last week. These kits are amazing. So Paper Pumpkin is a subscription kit in the North American market but here in Australia we don't get them but we do get two now a year and the Joy to the World was released last week and mine arrived oh, while I was away for on stage. So we're going to take a look at the kit today and you will love it. It's all about Christmas and it's going to make your Christmas card making easy breezy super duper easy. <laughs> My name is Tatiana. I'm from Tatiana Creative, a stamping adventure and I live in Australia. I hope to that I inspire you to make some cards, particularly with Christmas coming up around the corner. You can make some homemade Christmas cards and send them to some friends and family and really brighten their holiday season. I think we've all had a pretty tough 2020. Everyone, <laughs> we've all been in this together and it's been difficult and some Christmas cards can really brighten people's days. So let's head to the craft desk and get started. So here's the paper pumpkin kit. I have not opened mine yet because I wanted to share the full experience with you all. I need some paper snips because this is plastic sealed. It's a lot easier to open. So, hi Joanne. Oh, lovely to see you here. You caught me live. How are you? Okay, so this is the kit. I've seen the contents but I've not opened one yet. So this is exciting. We've got a Just a Jade stamping spot. Morning, Vicky. Ooh, look at this stamp set. I'm just gonna grab a piece of Whisper White. So that I can back that. Hello, Susan. <laughs> Thank you for joining. I am checking out the new paper pumpkin kit. So this is the stamp set. And I know this isn't quite right, but this is almost poppy-like. And I thought it'd be really nice for today with um, Remembrance Day. So it's not, it's not 11 o'clock here yet. We're, I go live at 10 uh, my time. Anyway, some lovely sentiments. We've got this explanation. Oh, there we go. It's got some translations of peace, joy, and love. Isn't that fun? Oh, I like that. Well, good, good to take a break. Uh, mine arrived while on stage, but I haven't had a chance to play, Susan. Um, so today will be the day. And I always keep, always, you know, I've had so many pumpkin kits, paper pumpkin kits. I keep the wrapping in because this could be, you could decorate the box, cover that bit up with some cardstock and some stamping, and you could use that as a gift box for something. For someone, not just something, someone. I'm going to open this up and let's go through the contents of the kit. You get a sheet of Stampin' Dimensionals, there's these pre embossed squares, and then pre-embossed, same pattern, but pre-embossed rectangles. Envelopes, I always love the Paper Pumpkin Kits envelopes because they have prettiness on the inside. It's also pretty. So we've got eight envelopes here. I believe they're all the same. Oh, there we go. Big shot plates. Well, they're not big shot plates anymore. They are the stamp and cut emboss machine plates. They fit in the Paper Pumpkin box. I, I'm gonna have to, sorry with that piece of news. Look at that. You could gift someone or use it to store your plates. How cool. That is awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Joanne. I love it. Love, love, love it. Anyhow, now there's also Ah, there's two different styles. So there's card fronts that have got the gold foiling going horizontally. And then there's card fronts that have the gold foiling going vertically. 
and then we have gold super shiny gold die cuts it says love peace and joy in all the languages and that's why there'd be the translation there so that you'd know we've got some stitched die cuts now these are glue dots put that in there and <coughs> excuse me I don't use them in the kits unless there's um, sequins that you're sticking down I don't use these I just use my multi-purpose glue because I prefer that and then I keep these for gluing sequins down in regular projects because these glue dots are smaller by putting out our mini glue dots they are smaller I'm hoping you can see that size difference they are much smaller so they're much better for little sequins and then I just use the regular glue to put the kits together so that's my little handy hint you two on the glue Susan yeah I don't know I just I really love the multi-purpose glue and it just works so much better then we've got this wreath and this beautiful flower which I was pointing out in the stamp set so that's it's bigger than the stamp set version the wreath oh, fairly similarly sized but you can create your own flowers as well and then we've got some twine which I think it might be cherry cobbler or Mary Merlot I can't quite tell on the back of our little instruction panel here we have some alternatives which are so cute oh wow okay I'll let you look through them on your own time but you have some direction here and what's really handy is there's a measurement here so we've got the two so now let's make some alternatives using the supplies that we have so I'm going to grab out all the supplies that you would need for those two cards again but then we're going to mix and match and do our own thing put that away so we get one of these out oh don't throw that out what I'll do is put the excess into the box One of these, and I might do, let's see, um, <coughs> love, joy. I really love joy. So pull out the joy. There we've got, we need one of these. Put that in the box. One of these. Put that in the box. We need two envelopes. One, two, put the rest in the box. We still need the stamp set. And we'll put that to the side. <coughs> and one of these. And one of these. And what I'm thinking as a first off. Oh, hold on. Where are the instructions? I'll cut. Three length. I love it, Joanne. Great idea. Let's do that. Okay, what word did I pick in English? I think I picked love. Yes. So for those who are watching at home and don't see the comments, Joanne has suggested that I use all three languages of the one word in a card. So I really, really loved. And you know what? I forgot. Did I say peace or love or I got joy? Sorry joy which i forgot the dot of the j so in english it's joy and i am not going to even try to pronounce the french or the german because i will i'm not good i have enough trouble with english people so i will just pull them out oh i love that idea joanne got to get the little dots I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make that card first. And the one that starts with F is in German. Actually, I might send that one to my mother-in-law because A, she likes my cards. And B, she actually knows a little bit of French and German as well. So that'll be a perfect person to send that to. Woohoo! I'll not even send, I might give it to her on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to do. I'll cut out 
So I'm going to cut just eight. What is it? What was it again? It was 18 inches per card. One, two, so that's 18. And I'm going to snip. And I'm just going to keep that at however many inches that is. Because now, a bit of a mess, I'm going to take one of the envelopes and we are going to do what I really love doing with paper pumpkin kits, what I've seen other demonstrators do. Let's quickly move these things up here. Is that they're going to use, uh, they use the envelope as some DSP. So I'm going to carefully, now I don't mind that I'm ripping this bit because those bits are not useful anyway. I'm going to carefully pull apart the envelope. There we go. And don't throw this part out. You can use that for stamping and die cutting. It's a little bit thinner, but that's okay. I'm going to take the mini trimmer. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. Bring in the big trimmer. Trim that so I've moved it just to be off the fold so it's trimming. The fold line was right there. And that's there. And oops, throw that bit out. And I know it's down below, it's probably off camera, but you get the idea that I'm trimming it all around. Is I'll trim that. So I've got this panel. I'm not throwing these out, keeping those. I've got this panel of this beautiful designer series at paper. Now, I'm thinking. What was I thinking? Okay, I'm thinking. I'm going to take Whisper White Base. I have one pre cut. Yes. So this is Whisper White Thick, which I've just I've pre-scored and everything. And I'm going to take some, let's just double check, is it Cherry Cobbler? Normally they do tell you your kit coordinates with Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Just Jade and Soft Sea Thread. So yes, Cherry Cobbler. Here. Excellent. I want the cherry cobbler to go from the top to the bottom of the. Now, how big is this shape? Because what I'm thinking, it is almost 14 centimeters. So I can get two seven centimeters, or I can get a piece. I could do two five centimeter ones. Sorry, this is the kind of thing I like to work out. So I'm going to do two, well, if I do a 10 centimeter cut and a five centimeter cut, sufficient. So I've got two more panels to use on another project. Excellent. I've got, cut this one to be five centimeters as well. There we go. What I'm thinking is placing that right there, and then this will go on top in the middle. So it blends a whole big panel of red, or cherry cobbler technically. Like that. Make that all even. I'm going to put the joy 
the bottom, then the French in the middle, and the German at the top. Actually, let's move them so that they're all in that panel. Now, the reason why I picked this order, there is logic. The Joy, the English version is a lot thicker and heavier looking. So visually, it feels a lot better to place it towards the bottom of the page. It's kind of heavier and then the French is less thick, so it's a bit lighter. And then the German is quite light, thin. Now, to glue these down, I'm going to do take my, what's it called, craft mat, put some liquid glue there and grab the oh, very sticky I think it might be time to get a, a new wedge actually I need to add that to my list stamping sponges <laughs> if I don't write them down I won't get any more stamping sponge thank you <laughs> a little pause and so I'm going to Take that glue, just very gently, lightly, add that to the back of the die cut piece and add that to our card front. I should have cleaned the craft, silicone craft sheet a little bit better between these, but you get the picture. Very gentle with this one. I don't want it to rip. <laughs> um, Joy is still quite wide based on the fact that it's so thick and big, so it still works. They're almost the same width, all three of them, so that works out well. I am going to attempt to add these dots. And for that, take your pick tool. What I'm going to do is see if this will work. Ha <laughs> ha. Joy. There. And then go the wrong way. Oh, it's sticking to the stamp and sponge. There, I got it down. Maybe if I just dip it into some glue. Yeah, that works better. I should have pulled the other end off. There. So I've got them in. Got all three in. Of course, if you have that bundle that you can die cut all the letters out, you could do that too. So joy, 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 joy. And on the inside, let's just stamp Joy on the inside, just for something very, uh, very simple, but not in the bad sense of the word. I'm going to grab an envelope, the Cherry Cobbler ink, kept it very red and gold. And we're going to stamp joy right there and in the back of the envelope right in the middle there just for fun so that's one card down already so you can see that somewhat in view now put some more of this envelope what's the height of that Ooh -hoo. It works. You could use this the concept of this card for anything. Birthday, happy, you know. Go explore. Work out what you want to do with it. I'm going to start with a cherry cobbler base for the next one, which I need to prepare. And we're going to do a landscape. So that means I'm going to at 14 point 
right. No, 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 no. I was going to cut at 14.8. Let's try that again. Score at 10 and a half. And then cut at 14.8. There we go. And hold that. And I'm going to put that, well, we'll trim that down, but that will go there. That needs to be at 10 and a half centimeters. to use the flowers. I'm going to grab the flowers. I really love these flowers. What's the time? Can someone tell me the time because I don't want to go live. I don't want to be live when it's 11 o'clock because I want to pay my respects. So now I'm going to, I think I'm going to stamp this off first. I'll grab some good paper. Got a pile of scrap grid paper down here. I'll use that. Gonna stamp that flowers all over the background. So stamped off just creates that little bit of lighter look. Thanks, Joanne. It's not pretty. You could stamp this in memento on white and then just have fun coloring it in with whatever, whatever color medium is your favorite. Oops, wrong piece. Thank you, ladies. Oh, I appreciate that, Joanne. Yeah, don't want to. Oh, I've got ink on my table. I need a few more over here. My table, ink on my fingers, just what you need. <gasps> so pretty, so so pretty. Okay. Ah, hold on. I luckily have some pre cut whisper white sheets which we'll put on the inside of the card and we're going to stamp the envelope so oh the baby wipe will yes I know I've got a table that I can wipe down so that's the envelope I've just stamped the top right hand corner because in Australia we don't need to put anything in that area in Australia you do need to keep the stamp area clean clear except for stamps and then the strip down the bottom so if you ever notice that you get something with uh, in the mail with a yellow strip that's because they've got some sort of barcoding system that they do and then they've put a yellow sticker over the top if there's anything down there to in I don't want to say infringing but is that's in the way there that's and I've done that in full strength cherry cobbler as well To the side okay so that's for the inside of the card and let's put that down now so that I don't lose it and put it into ink I'm starting to worry I'll be late with my um, overseas cards because I'm not ready for Christmas yet and overseas ones probably will be taking extra long this year. Now make sure you adhere this piece the correct way around. You don't want it to have the words upside down, which I could very easily do. I'm gonna glue, oh, I was thinking dimensionals, but I've added glue now. No, I want dimensionals. I'm gonna grab a tissue. always a way to fix up and I wanted to wrap some ribbon or some twine 
around that. One, two, three, and have a little bow. Don't pull too tightly because this is the envelope paper, remember, it's not designer series paper. And what am I doing? I tied the bow funny. Snip that off because we can use that on another project. Um, this is the envelope paper, not DSP, so it is a bit thinner than usual. So don't go too, too tight on it because it could rip, buckle, curve, all of that kind of stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to put that on dimensionals. I'm thinking I should have done it this side, but I've stamped for it to be over there. But that's okay. I think that's... I could do the next one. I have another strip. And I do like to make sure that the dimensionals are nice and secure, particularly on a sheet like this that's a lot thinner. Okay. And is that straight? That's straight. And then I'm going to take one of these flowers and just No, I like it that way. I'm going to put some dimensionals behind that edge and glue over here. Um, it could help Joanne, but I had no problems placing that. Hello Trudy, welcome to my lives. I'm so excited to see you here. This is, for those who are popping in, I know that there's people been popping in and out all through the lives. This is the Joy to the World Paper Pumpkin Kit, which comes in this box and it gives you supplies to make eight Christmas cards. So in two designs, which are these two. But what I've done is taken the supplies from those two cards and I'm now creating my own versions. So, so far, this is what we've got. I could keep going. But I might do one more version and then sign off just because I don't want to miss Remembrance Day today at 11. And um, Joanne, if you could give me a time update, please. But it is heading towards 11. So we'll do one more card, one that will use the wreath, I would say. But this bit, this what looks like designer series paper is I've cut open one of the envelopes from the kit and used that. Um, let's see, what's the height, could do or something similar, I want to use the wreath, so let's start, 10.45, I think we've got enough for one more card, and then we will sign off, so I'm going to use, I'm going to stamp on this again, just like I did for the original card, where's the block, I wonder if there's a better lining up. I feel like no matter how I turn this, the berries get stamped over. So don't panic, it's just the way it is. This is just jade. And it is photopolymer, so you can see where you're stamping. Place it down. Beautiful. Morning Megan, how are you? You're kind of catching the tail end because we're heading towards 11 here in New South Wales and I don't want to um, miss, miss Remembrance Day. I couldn't remember the word, oh dear. Um, I'm going to do something very similar as to what I did for this card. So I'm going to grab some Just J.
trimmer once again. So I've put no sentiment on that, so that could essentially be any sentiment we wish it to be. It could to be it doesn't even have to be Christmas. Though peace, joy, love. Oh, yeah, we could still send that for a birthday. Okay, so I've got just jade, which I'm cutting down to get two card bases top folding in portrait mode. Because that's my favourite. And take that in half. And what we're going to do is grab that. Thank you so much, Megan. Um, very exciting news. I talked about, well, if you follow me on Facebook, you should have already heard, well, maybe not should have, but you may have already heard that I have been asked to join the Stamping Up Artisan Design team for 2021. So I am wearing the pretty, pretty, pretty bracelet that they sent me. And I'm super duper excited. We have now virtually met, as in, because they're across the world. I have now met all the others on the team and we're just spending some time getting to know each other, which is so, it's just been so amazing. So I'm just, I'm stamping the same wreath stamp all across, but I'm stamping it off because I think it just, that's pretty. Um, so that's been a very hard secret to keep. I've known since mid-September, or just before mid-September, and that's been, oh, so I was allowed to share with my immediate family, and that made it a lot easier so I could talk to my daughter about it, who was super duper excited. Am I out of card base fronts? Uh, I'm out of those, so I'll do that one bit later. But, ooh, I know. We're going to put this up on, uh, there are five returning members from the current team. Don't ask me to list all of them off the top of my head. I can think of three, um, four. No, I can think of all five, but I can't pronounce everyone's names. Um, that's the confused Aussie slash Russian in me. And then there are two, I believe, who have been on the team previously, but not last year are coming back and then the rest of us are all new so there's seven there's 21 in the team so seven have previously had experience on the team and the rest of us which is 14 are all brand new to the artisan world but that is super exciting okay so i'm going to put i'm going to put this one right here and then I'm going to take the rest of the twine and I'm going to fold it in half and tie a bow with it doubled. If you have trouble doing this, use extra length of twine and then you won't have as much. Uh, what do I have to do as a team member? Well, at the moment, not much, <laughs> except for getting to know. Um, we will be sent product on a regular basis by Stamping Up, and we will have to create projects which Stamping Up will share very publicly on their social media platforms. Um, we're kind of in the getting to know you stage. We've just received our boxes. I don't, I don't know, Susan, if you're still watching, can you let me know if you've got your box yet? Because Susan in New Zealand is in the team and I know that her box was delayed, a goodie box of the stamp and that. Anyway, I, I do know what the expectations are. I just, I don't know how it's gonna all happen and come together, but I'm just super duper excited to have this privilege slash honor slash um, any other similar kind of word. I'm going to put that bow there and I will use just the regular mini dot because it is 
more handy. Okay, squish up the glue dot so it's behind the bow. Um, it's going to be an amazing year. That's what it is going to be. So I'm just going to trim. Okay. So I want, I'll leave that. No, I want it trimmed short. There we go. And I'm going to take Which ones haven't I used? I used peace and joy, so I'm going to take the word love. There it is. And add it to this card. The alternative, if you don't have the stamping sponges and you didn't like that method that I shared, what you can do is take your liquid purpose, multi-purpose glue and do ever so gently little dots and then don't squeeze the glue and use the tip to spread the glue out so that if you've got big clumps of glue that will spread out so that's another way it's a, lo a lot more taxing though no. and of course I would add the whisper white on the inside with the reef in the corner there but I don't have any pre-cut left that are whole and then I would stamp the envelope too but I'm so conscious of time right now that I'm going to leave those alternatives there Hopefully I'll get around to playing some more and I may create some more alternatives in the future and check them out. I'll share them on social media and then you can check them out on my blog. Remember that I do offer a customer loyalty program. So for every $50 you spend with me, I'll just arrange these cards over here and bring these ones in. So for every $50 you spend with me, you get a sticker, collect 10 stickers and get $50 worth of products as a thank you gift from me as to for supporting my little business i hope that i have inspired you to make some christmas cards and to send them out this year because this year i feel more than any other year we really do need to spread that christmas joy and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching and bye for now